everybody. Welcome to Two Old Guys with Crossbows. I'm Greg. Now today, I'm going to show you how to quick and easy cleaning tip, uh, how to clean your rifle with uh, some Q-tips, gun oil, and then we're going to take some shots. Um, I find it important to keep a clean gun to keep that accuracy and um, keep those groups as tight as possible. On this channel too, I like to give tips and tricks that'll save you money. I always felt I've hunted for over 40 years and hunting doesn't have to be expensive, you know. Um, you go to the stores for a lot of this stuff that you buy and it's not necessary. You can do with do without a lot of the things that they're selling you. But uh, let's get out to the shop and uh, do some cleaning on this gun. And, I like to do it out in the shop because of the oil, it gets a little messy. You'll see what I mean. Have my gun all set up, ready to be cleaned. Using the uh, homemade bean bags. These front bean bags, there's two of them here, one on either side. I tied them together with a zip tie. It makes a nice little V groove to hold your gun in place. That's the table wiggling. <laughs> and then I put another bag in the back here to rest it hold it while I do the cleaning. First off, put a little of your penetrating oil right down the, the barrel. Just squeeze a little in there. Let it sit. Give it a few minutes. Now always make sure your gun safety's on and uh, Here's a quick and easy way to clean out that barrel. I've let that oil sit in there for a few minutes. I'm going to take Q-tip. I'm going to soak the ends. A little bit of the gun oil. Now we're going to stuff that in there. Nice, fairly tight fit. I take a little screwdriver and I get it started in there. And then of course to push it through, I just took a uh, coat hanger and I cut it open. Make sure you take a file or something though and don't leave any sharp burrs or edges on, on there. But just stick that in there and push it through. Watch at the bottom and it'll start coming out. This is what your Q-tip looks like after it's been through there. See all that dirt and pellet residue? We're going to do this about four times. Throw that one away, get yourself a new Q-tip. Soak it down. Put that oil on there. Using your gun cleaning oil or a good 3-in-1 penetrating oil works as well. Um, another thing you might want to do is get in the back here and just uh, clean your shooting spout. Put a little oil around your pin there, your lock pin. See the dirt that's on there? I'll just shove that down the barrel again now. Nice and tight. The reason why I say you take the burrs off this uh, coat hanger is you don't want to scratch the inside of your barrel. You don't want to scratch your rifling or anything. It does take a fair bit to, to harm the barrel of the gun, but still, if you leave sharp edges on there, it's all much can gouge. You still see the dirt just pouring out of there. Lots of dirt in that barrel, yep. Yeah. You want accuracy and everything, it's a good thing to keep your gun clean. I clean mine about uh, oh, every hundred shots or so. I'm gonna, again, I'm lubing up both ends of this Q-tip. Get a little twist, get it in there, get it started. There we go. Get that 
pushed in there. last couple. I'm only going to put some oil on one end. I'm leaving the other end of the uh, Q-tip or the ear swab dry and it's going to help pick up some of that excess oil that's in there. have a look at this one. But as you can see, the dirt's not nearly like it was. It's not coming out nearly as black anymore. It only takes a couple of minutes. Do this one more time. After we clean it here, we'll take a few shots at 15 yards and see what kind of grouping we're getting. That last Q-tip that went through there, basically now your gun is clean. There's not much on there at all. Again, on the floor, you're going to have oil dripping down there and stuff, so if you're doing this in the house, make sure you put a rag or something down there. And then before I'm done with this, I like to take a small piece of cloth with some oil on it, oil up the outside of my barrel and stuff. Keeps your gun from rusting, keeps it protected. And there you have it. A quick and easy way to clean your 177 caliber uh, air rifles, anyways. Cleans out the barrel nicely. Okay, I'm gonna take some target shots here, and I'm going to be shooting at this one right here. Um, these targets are the total circle is two inches, and these little colored dots in the center are three quarters. So let's see what we can get a group out of five shots now after we've cleaned the gun. And I'm going to use the uh, copper coated X power pellets on these. And we'll just see what kind of a group we get. No, that's not too bad. Three quarters of an inch is the pink. And I was within an inch those ones. Um, here we'll try a couple more. This one, I'm going to be shooting at this target right here. Well there you go. Uh, I did have to recalibrate a little bit after cleaning. You won't find that to be odd but I got a couple consistently high up here so I dropped it down a couple of clicks and there you go five shots straight in the three-quarter inch green dot um, now I've done some re-sighting and I'm sighted in for the gamo red tips now keep your eye on this one I'm gonna shoot at this second top and we'll see what kind of a group we get with the red tips like I said, each pellet shoots differently out of this gun, and it, uh, I have to sight in for each pellet, too. Well, there's the Gamo Red Tips. I'll blame myself on these two. Not uh, totally steady. 
on the bags. But here's my group, which isn't bad. But the Gamo Red Tips are uh, rather expensive pellets, and uh, I'm finding now that I fine-tuned that gun some and that I'm getting much better groups with the other pellets. I'll have to do some updated videos on uh, the shooting. Like I said, these were the Stoger X Powers, and they're grouping quite nicely. Um, and we'll try some of the others. See if we can find a cheaper pellet that groups nicely for the hunting situation. Well, there you have it. A quick and easy way to clean your air rifle. And uh, yeah, it's not unusual. I had to uh, adjust my elevation a little bit there. I was grouping a little high, but that's not unusual. Clean gun shoots a, a little different. And I had sighted that gun in and the gun was fairly dirty. I'd probably put a hundred rounds through it before I even started shooting those X-Power pellets. Um, another thing I'll be doing in the near future is I'm going to make a video about the gun and some of the fine tuning I've had to do to it or I've done to it to, for my liking. Plus some of the little quirks about uh, uh, these high powered air rifles. Um, things that I've had to deal with. But stay tuned and subscribe and give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And yeah, we'll talk about that uh, gun more in depth and uh, troubles I've had with uh, the scope staying sighted in and what I've done to rectify the problems. See you soon. So you can subscribe by clicking the little fox. I think he's over here or if you want to watch another video, you can click on this over here. Somewhere around here anyways, like one way or the other.